marked out the projected rise of the Kennebec River through Waterfront Park. We're about halfway up the park now. So we're wearing boots, our feet will be wet. Mm -hmm. Kennebec Estuary Land Trust is represented as well, and we certainly are concerned about climate change and are working in land protection to protect upland habitat, which may soon be waterfront habitat. Um, one of the important intentions of the 350 campaign, of which we're a part, is to really put uh, pressure on our world leaders to create the strongest possible climate change agreement in Copenhagen in December. So anybody watching this should should uh, call President Obama. They're all saying we really need to take this to heart and do what we can. So make your calls to your representatives and join us in whatever way you can. And call our uh, senators and let them know that we expect really strong national legislation and a really strong climate change agreement. This is an international event and uh, I'm reminded of the Maldives which are um, the people are donating or putting aside some of their tourist money and income because they may have to relocate their whole island community and I think it's really important that we think about the people who are impacted by our decisions and our actions. Yeah, and I think we ought to be thinking about the 300 plus Bangladeshis who are going to be moving into India in the next uh, 50 years and pushing the population to the brink and uh, the money that the United States will have to be paying in international aid in order to prevent the problems. And that's uh, part of the issue of global climate change and climate perturbation and disruption. We've got to have the coal industry and the fossil fuel industries uh, change to being wind and solar producers. If they, if they, they need to do that. It's, they've had their chance and now they're part of the problem. As you can see, that uh, it's very dire and people have taken to the streets already because of uh, this climate change. The warm water is pooling up right along this, this coast from Greenland all the way into this uh, particular area around Newfoundland, Gulf of Maine. Hot water that is being kept from traveling across the Atlantic to, to Europe. And it is helping to melt the ice caps and it's raising water levels and increasing the temperature enough to make more rain. And so we're going to be in a very wet state for the next maybe 100 years. So is Maine going to bear the brunt disproportionately? Yes, the northeast coast will indeed bear the brunt of a lot of the changes that are taking place. Absolutely. Presents 350. We are going to sink or swim. And we may be canoeing right here in the next uh, 50 years. Waterfront property.